AJ Hazzy here with our second video blog for June. And uh, we're going to keep going with the question and answer. So I've got a really good question from uh, my client, John. He wants to know, what are the rules about putting in a carriage home? And uh, what are the things that he needs to know if he's looking to buy a property that would be suitable to add a carriage home? So there are uh, three things you want to look for. The first thing, and this is a you know an automatic no-brainer, you need the right zoning. It's RU6 zoning is what you're looking for typically. And what RU6 zoning allows you to have is two different dwellings or a legal suite. It's the same zoning that a lot of the homes that have legal suites in them have. It allows you to have up to two dwellings on one parcel of land. The next thing is you need that piece of land to be of a certain size. So, you know, the really small 33 foot lots, they're not going to cut it. You need at least 50 feet and about 120 feet or so in depth. So, so there's some good lots in the North End and in the uh, you know, South Pandozi area that have that, have that nice 120 foot or larger depth. And the third thing you need that lot to have is rear lane access. Now they used to allow carriage homes with a side yard access, but they really started to uh, frown on that and they want to, uh, mainly because of parking, so they want to have that rear lane access on the lot. So those are the three main things that the lot needs to have. And now with the house that exists on the lot, the current house, it needs to be a decent size. It can't be one of those uh, war times, you know, 700 square foot homes, because the problem is you can only go up to 80% of the size of the existing home. So you need at least a thousand or 1200 square feet in the existing home, which most, most of them have. So it's a, you know, it's a little criteria add on, but for the most part, if you've got the right size lot, you should be fine. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. John, if you want us to send you a list of all the homes that, or all the houses for sale that could handle a carriage home, I'd be happy to set you up there. And our, uh, our last uh, question is from Sue. And she wants to know how this whole Alberta NDP low price oil is affecting our market. And I think anybody that is reading the headlines knows that the, uh, the Kelowna market right now is on fire. We're up leaps and bounds year over year where we were last year. And there are certain segments of the market that are doing very well. It's not just the low end. We are seeing uh, that that five hundred to seven hundred thousand dollar price range, which has been sluggy for the last couple of years, is now really come alive. Which uh, has a knock on effect, of course, into the the higher price ranges up to eight hundred thousand and that kind of thing. The one section of the market that will be affected is that uh, the market that was typically dominated by the Albertans, and that is the uh, you know the higher end stuff, the one point one one point two million dollar. Uh, listings. But that said, properties on the water this year over last year, the amount that have sold, there's been more homes on the water that have sold this year so far year to date than there were last year. So I think it's fair to say that uh, everything going on in Alberta, although it may be, we maybe would be in a much larger boom had that not happened, it certainly hasn't taken in the wind out of our sales. Kelowna is a, uh, is a really strong market. We're getting a ton of people coming up from Vancouver. Obviously, Vancouver's market's on fire. If you read the news, they're always talking about how overvalued Vancouver is. So we seem like a great discount to them, and there's lots of them coming. And we're also getting, uh, finally, we're getting some of the, uh, the money from uh, Asian and other countries are finding their way to the Okanagan. So the, uh, the future's looking good, and uh, I wouldn't be worried about this Alberta crisis too much from a Kelowna real estate standpoint. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. I'm going to sign off now, and uh, we'll catch up with you in a couple of weeks. Again, if you uh, want to use our home search tool, it's right here on the blog, as well as if you're interested in an evaluation on your home. As I mentioned before, the market is really cooking. You might owe it to yourself to take a peek at what your home's worth in today's market. All right. Thanks very much. Bye for now. Thank you.